but how? I'm inside of my head and I'm thinking too much. What do I need to do today? Man, he really pissed me off. Why is it that things are so difficult for me? I'm not gonna make enough money this month to support myself. Where should I travel to next? Oh no, I shouldn't travel there. People there are like this. From thing to thing, your mind just bounces around. Constantly reacting from this thought to the next thought, just bouncing around. And as it's bouncing around, you could stay there all day. You'll never run out of things. Never run out of things to bounce around on. You'll never run out. I want to get out of my head, but how? When my mind is bouncing around, when it's going from this thought to the next one, and it's engaging in this one, and I feel things in my body, and then I don't want to feel that. So I react and I feel the next thing, and that brings up thoughts. It just never will stop. It never will. Being in your head is not something that I think you should have conflict with. The thing shouldn't be, I don't want to be in my head. I want to get out of my head. Because the very moment you say that, you're going to stay in your head. Because frustration will arise about why you're still there. Being analytical, thinking too much, this all has to do with bouncing around from reactivity to the next reactivity. But I have to let you know, these things actually mean something to you. They mean something, that's why you're bouncing around. There's a part of you that actually wants to engage. If there's something that I've seen through sitting in meditation, and observing how I become engaged, the times where I would feel like, why am I thinking that? I just want to get out of my head. I want to be present here. I want to be in present space. I want to be in total space. I wanted to think some of those things. I felt right about things. I felt that I wanted to be right. That I wanted to prove the other wrong. Maybe I'm in an argument in my head. Or I would think about a situation that happened and how the other person didn't know what they were talking about. Still has to do with me being right. That bouncing around from being right from one situation to one situation, that continuation of that taught me so much about 
how I thought I was right so many times. And it's crazy because I just wanted to get out of my head, but when I would allow myself to come back to space, something would arise. And it would be a situation of me trying to be right again. Whether it be with the woman that I'm in love with. Whether it be old people who used to be in my life. Or even things of the world that I felt like were wrong and I knew the way. I just reacted and kept going too. And that kept going was because I still wanted to be right. I didn't want to accept whatever had happened, whatever the world was going through, whatever I felt like was wrong within another. I didn't want to accept it. I just wanted to be right and the other person or the state of humanity to change. It's interesting that when I was wanting to get out of my head, I still wanted to be right simultaneously. I still wanted to cling to the arguments in my head. I still wanted to prove in whatever way, prove myself right or someone else wrong. And then the act of doing that, proving myself right. And this is just an example of how I played the battle of wanting to be present, but also being in my head and wanting to cling because I felt like, because I felt something about it, it meant something to me. Not knowing that reaction is just reaction. Not knowing that in the moment because all I want to do is cling to whatever is going to make me feel better about what's happening or what did happen or even what's going to happen that's projected. So I say to you, your reactivity on the inside will have a lot to do with if you're going to stay in your head or if you're going to move away from it. Those who stay in their head and get frustrated at things and want a situation to be a certain way even though it's not, can't accept, will always be there. But once a person wants to learn, acceptance, then they've just realized a route away from the mind. Now we come to getting out of the mind. I want to get out of my head, but how? Acceptance. It is the only route to being able to get out of the mind. Because once you accept, you relax. When you're in your mind and you're thinking about things, you immediately go into tension. If you want to do an experiment for yourself, the next time that you're in meditation, just be the witness 
of what happens to your face, what happens in your head region when you start thinking. Observe the tension that arises. You'll notice there's tension in your jaw at times. Maybe you want to be in an argument and the tension will manifest in your jaw. Maybe you're thinking really deeply about something and you're confused or you're trying to really figure something else. Notice the tension in your forehead. Notice the difference between when you're saying something in your mind to someone and when you're just trying to think deeply about something and you're trying to go into figuring it out. Notice the difference of tension in your head region. Everything above the shoulders, notice it. Notice the tension. And you'll notice that the moment that you stop trying to deep deeply and you try to think and you relax it, that's the moment of acceptance. You'll notice that there is clear space. Notice that when you're trying to prove yourself right or you're arguing or you're trying to discuss something, you're doing whatever it is that involves you talking. Notice how the jaw clenches. And if you relax the jaw, clear space happens. This accepting, this relaxation is the way away from the mind. I teach, of course, meditations that allow you to get away from the mind totally by putting your attention in other places in your body, a place in your body that allows you to be just in the center of yourself. Nothing to be taught here. But what I've given you so far is going to help you understand getting out of your mind. Being there is not the issue. The reactivity that goes on, that you feel attached to, that you feel like means something to you, is the issue. You bounce around and don't want to accept. Because the moment you go into acceptance, the issue leaves. Reactivity subsides and the body becomes alive because your attention has moved elsewhere. You can feel the clear space. This is the only way out of the mind, accepting. Through that acceptance, relaxation happens. When you consciously relax yourself, acceptance happens. Acceptance and relaxation go hand in hand because both are without worry. Both allow 